Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So if it wasn't for this book, um, I probably wouldn't be here. I mean, is it hyperbolic to say that? Is it too much of an exaggeration to say if it wasn't for this particular comic book title, um, I probably wouldn't even be doing comics at all. But before we continue, my name is Daphne Lage, and I'm a cartoonist, illustrator, and comic book artist from New York. I have been self-publishing comics since 1992, and I am known for the furry fantasy adventure Tall Tales and my medieval fantasy soap opera drama, Eager Raven, Heir of the First Unicorn. You can read both my comics online at talltales, T-A-I-L-S, online.com and egoworks.com, E-G-O-W-O-R-K-S. And you can also check out all my videos on how I make my comics here on YouTube at my channel at Daphne Lage, L-A-G-E Art. When we're talking about what book changed my life, um, it's the one, it's the only, it's ElfQuest by Richard and Wendy Peeney. ElfQuest was the book that pretty much started all of this uh, along with Rocket Raccoon, or at least Mike Mignola's run on Rocket Raccoon, which that's another story uh, for another video. For those of you who don't know, for some reason, I don't know, maybe you've been living under a rock, ElfQuest is a comic book series created by Wendy and Richard Peeney, and it premiered in 1978. It is a fantasy story about a community of elves led by Cutter, Blood of Ten Chiefs, and they find themselves on a literal quest to unite all the elf tribes of this world of two moons in order to survive and coexist on this primitive Earth-like planet. ElfQuest was one of the first comic book series to have a planned conclusion, and it has been called America's first manga series. About like a year or so ago, uh, Richard and Wendy Peeney ran a Kickstarter for the ElfQuest audio drama. About a couple, about a month or so ago, I finally got to listen to the audio drama. And not only was the audio drama more perfect than I could have ever imagined it to be. Um, the voice acting was on point. Everybody was pretty much how I've imagined them to sound all these years, um, especially Skywise. And it pretty much reignited my love for the series. And it just reminded me why this series was so important, why this series literally is the foundation of everything that I do. Every book that I do, every piece of drawing, everything that I do has ElfQuest as a foundation. I originally found ElfQuest probably as far as maybe 19, as close to 1982. 1982 was a really good year. For, for fantasy. So back in the day, uh, my family, we would actually go to a local Barnes and Noble as our big outing. And I remember seeing the cover to the Star Blaze Donning first graphic novel. I just remember being completely mesmerized by it. And every time we'd go back to that Barnes and Nobles, I always found myself making a beeline to that aisle where the book is just to stare at the cover. It was com something completely unfamiliar to me, but mesmerizing. The artwork was so beautiful. And mind you, this was me just looking at the cover and kind of like timidly flipping through it. I don't know at what point did it occur to me that I could ask my parents to buy the book for me, um, or I don't remember if I used my own allowance or I bought the book, but or they bought the book, but it doesn't matter. I There just came a point where it's like, I need to bring this book home. You know, the thing about ElfQuest that amazed me is that it never occurred to me up until that point that those types of stories could be told in a visual medium like comics. And this was the first time that I literally saw a comic that had that, that, that whole visual aesthetic that I was learning to love in novel form, except it was a comic. And it was literally a point where it's like, wow, you can actually do that. And even though I, I ended up starting my comic book journey 
kind of late artistically. Um, I really didn't start drawing comics until I was entering high school. Kind of had an inkling of it before then, you know, with ElfQuest and the type of comics that I grew up on. But actually doing comics was not something until I started to, I started to do until later. And when I started doing that, ElfQuest was always a foundation for that. Uh, another thing that really stood out for me about ElfQuest is how it showed how an adventure story could be so personal and <laughs> dare I say sensual at the same time. Um, even though this was an adventure story, the relationships between the characters were so integral to everything. I mean, it, it's like it wasn't just about running, jumping, skipping, climbing Mount Doom and throwing the ring into the fire. It was how the characters interacted with each other during the quest that was so, that, that, that really stuck with me. I, that is a goal for me in in the writing that I do, you know, in the work that I do. I want the reader to really get involved with the characters, almost in spite of the overall story, you know, the, the, the background, the, 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 the great grand scale of the story in the background. It was just really funny how just listening to those audio dramas really brought back this rush that I just had to talk about it again. It's like, if you don't know about ElfQuest and, and you're in comics, you really need to know about ElfQuest. But the funny thing about it, just like where the book was considered an honorary manga, um, the relationship between Cutter and Skywise was also probably my first exposure to the Yoi genre without me even knowing. I mean, because talk about a really, really intense relationship in this book, you know, brothers and all the blood, don't get me started. Don't make, don't, 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 don't even try to pretend that that, that wasn't, that wasn't reeking in subtext. So yeah. So when I say Elf Quest is the comic series that changed my life, I, I, cannot deny it. it it really like it's it's not an exaggeration i don't think that i really would have latched on to comics if it wasn't for this all issues of elf quest along with the audio drama can be found at elfquest.com it's that simple and also tell me in the comments below what comic changed your life you know there's 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 always one there's always one that sticks out. So what's yours? Go ahead and tell me about it. So thanks for joining me for this really uh, quick video. Um, if you want to learn more about me and my and my own comics, uh, you can head on over to my main portfolio site at egoworks.com, E-G-O-W-O-R-K-S, where you can find links to all of my galleries and social media sites. Uh, but I mostly post to Facebook uh, if you're into seeing sketches and current work in progress updates. Um, and of course, you can find me here on YouTube at my channel at Daphne Lage, L-A-G-E art. So thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.